HTC's talent for design and meticulous attention to detail set them apart in the highly competitive Android market. Their devices have a premium feel, often crafted from a unibody brushed aluminum, a design choice that would later inspire Apple. Owning an HTC phone became synonymous with appreciating quality craftsmanship and innovative technology. Today at Finance Spur, we learn how HTC dominated the phone business and its eventual crash. But for more videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. What truly marked HTC's domination in the early smartphone arena was its trailblazing spirit. They boldly introduced the world to the first ever Android phone, paving the way for the Android revolution. Their collaboration with Google resulted in the design of Google's Nexus devices, further solidifying their influence in the industry. At the peak of its success, HTC stood tall as the largest Android phone manufacturer and smartphone vendor in the United States, a remarkable feat that even outshone Apple's presence in the market. HTC's legacy is a testament to its commitment to excellence and innovation leaving an indelible mark on the ever-evolving world of technology. But how did HTC started, and how did they build an empire? In 1997, Chia Wang embarked on a journey that would eventually transform HTC into a household name in the tech world. Initially focusing on manufacturing notebook computers, the company demonstrated its adaptability and vision for the evolving tech landscape. HTC's thrust into phones marked a significant turning point. By the early 2000s, they had already begun crafting some of the world's earliest touch and wireless handheld devices, foreshadowing their important role in the mobile phone revolution. The year 2008 was a game-changer for HTC, as they etched their name in the walls of tech history with the release of the HTC Dream. This iconic device went down in history as the world's first Android-powered smartphone, sparking the Android revolution that would reshape the smartphone industry. HTC's commitment to innovation and collaboration with tech giants like Google reached its peak with the design of Google's inaugural hardware phone, the Nexus One, also launched in 2008. This partnership solidified HTC's reputation as a leader in the world of mobile technology and their contributions laid the groundwork for the Android ecosystem we know today. However, HTC's success was rooted in its dedication to design excellence, both in hardware and software. Their phones felt premium and well-crafted, often featuring unibody brushed aluminum designs, setting a standard for the industry. HTC was also ahead of its time by prioritizing sound quality with stereo speakers when other manufacturers neglected audio. The software was another strength. HTC's custom UI, initially known as TouchFlow 3D and later HTC Sense, addressed the shortcomings of early Android versions, making their phones more user-friendly and engaging. Before we continue, if you like this video or topics about finance, technology, and business, leave a like and comment down below what you think was the main factor in HTC's decline. Consider subscribing to more amazing videos. But just like anything, the end was inevitable. HTC's downfall began when Samsung entered the scene. Samsung adopted a similar strategy and flooded the market with their Android devices backed by aggressive marketing and deeper pockets. This marked an important moment in the smartphone industry's growth, and HTC failed to capitalize on it. To make matters worse, HTC ventured into unrelated markets like graphics and streaming content, all of which failed to yield good results. Their marketing strategy of being quietly brilliant couldn't compete with Samsung's aggressive advertising campaigns that pitted Samsung against Apple. And it wasn't Android versus Apple anymore, it was Samsung versus Apple. Another factor was the confusing naming schemes of HTC phones and internal management issues. This further eroded the company's position, 
morale problems, executive departures, and a lack of focus also contributed to their decline. In 2015, HTC's share price plummeted, leading to layoffs in a dire financial situation. But HTC won't just quit that easy. They may not have the upper hand in the smartphone business, but they have another ace up their sleeve. HTC shifted its focus to emerging technologies like virtual reality or VR, blockchain, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. Their VR headsets, developed in collaboration with Valve, gained traction, but Google's acquisition of part of their VR team in 2017 was a setback. In late 2019, a new CEO took the helm, expressing optimism about the company's future. Today, HTC continues to explore these emerging technologies, hoping to find success in a new direction. However, their smartphone dominance is a thing of the past, and the company faces steep challenges ahead. Despite the hurdles, HTC remains determined to carve out a role in the evolving tech landscape. While HTC's smartphone legacy may be fading, its legacy as a pioneer in the industry will always hold a special place in the hearts of tech enthusiasts. But for more videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to check out our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notify bell for upcoming videos. For now, this is Finance Spur. Have a great day.